of this week's episodes of Days of Our Lives. I am your host, Tony Moore, and I am joined only by one other person here. And you all know him. You love him. He's the future ex, Mrs. Flynn. <laughs> Please help me welcome... Mark J. Freeman and my hair. And which I didn't get a haircut. You can't it's, tell. You can't. <laughs> it's still high. My coworker, I said, You didn't even notice I got a haircut. She goes, It's about the same as it normally is, Mark. And I was like, That's a lot of hair that got cut off. But thank you. There you are. Well, and we don't have Mr. James Lott Jr. He is away spending time with family for this good old Labor Day weekend. So a big shout out to Mr. James Lott Jr. Hello, James. Hello, James. Um, now, I know that you guys read our little caption for the live streaming, and it said that we're doing the review with Billy Flynn. Um, <laughs> but we are not doing the review with we're Billy just Flynn. With me. I, uh, yeah. I actually thought, I was like, well, I wonder if Tony is just trying to mess with me. <laughs> like, I was going to go, happy Labor Day, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Billy Flynn here. I'll tell you what, if that boy walks in here, prepare to pick me up off the floor. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have Billy Flynn. Dang I'm it. sorry. I'm sorry, Mark. I feel bad now. Um, okay. But if you guys are watching live, make sure you go to our Facebook and Instagram page and like us, follow us at Dish and Days for all of the latest news with us and any important news about Days of Our Lives. Um, also, make sure you subscribe to AfterBuzz TV. And if you are on iTunes, make sure you go on there, like us, um, download our podcast if you're walking around the park or spending time with uh, someone. I don't know. I feel like listening to our podcast. You can yeah. do so on iTunes and just give us five stars. All right. It is now time to start Dish and Days. <laughs> so, um, we forgot something. <laughs> Normally we have our hourglass here. here there's, it's here. It's we there. Just, we just put we it just, in. We pushed it in there. <laughs> I, to, I, I totally left it in the car. I was I was walking in and I thought like my load is like lighter. Then I was like oh whatever. And then we were about to start. Literally and I go the music. The played. music came on and I was like oh, I forgot the hourglass. <laughs> So, so I'm imagine, sorry. It's, imagine it right here. I uh, yes, it's, I could it's draw right a picture here. of it. We can stand one up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So no, Michelle, Billy is not on. You probably just missed Tony explaining that. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'll, I'll type it out in the in the chat room. It was a miscommunication. It was, but uh, he's here in spirit every week. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So kicking us off, we have we have uh, um, Mr. Joey Johnson has returned to Salem with his father, Steve, and are now, as I like to say, tormenting Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, I'll, but I'll, I'm just going to say this before we even get into the, the heart of it. Yeah. I still don't really know Joey yet. Like, even after the week of seeing him, uh -huh. I just, other than him get the school thing and that there's a little bit of a, you know, problem child. Yes. I still don't really know him that well. He's so angry. I'm, he's angry. He's, he's quiet. Angry. Because he has, he doesn't really say much, and when he does, it's like stop fighting. Yeah. Or um, which sounds like my childhood. No, I'm kidding. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> he always seems upset. Yeah. Upset. I just, I guess the week was over, and I was like, hmm, still don't really know Joey. I don't know if it's gonna take the other teenagers to show up for us to really get to know him. But yeah, <laughs> well, I think it was a nice, you know, ease into his character mm -hmm. and and how he's kind of, you know. It seems like they're trying to point it in the direction of like he's been affected by the fact that um, Steve Patch has not been around. Yeah. Um, and Kayla sent him off to Ohio right. for boarding school. So I don't know. There, there seems to be something that because even Kayla was acting a little strange to yeah. me this week. Yeah. But, you know, I feel like she was going through a lot of emotions with Patch being back mm -hmm. and with Joey being back and Joey being kicked out of school and then trying she tried to get him into Salem prep mm -hmm. and he was not having it. No. He was just like, by the way, I, I'm I'm a horrible student and I'm yeah, gonna do told those the, things again. The school director that. Yeah. And the school director is just kinda like, why am I here? Yeah. It was really weird. Um, FYI, I put Diet Coke in my cup today, so I'm... <laughs> Burping? <laughs> the bubbles are getting to me. I apologize in advance. <laughs> Wasn't a smart move. But, mm. um, I was going to say, too, I thought what I really liked was when Steve went... And I'm getting a lot of fuzz in my... Little are feedback. You, are you getting a lot a of A little it? bit. Okay. Just a little bit. I don't know if it's... Uh, my phones and stuff are off, but... Yeah. Um, uh, was when he when Steve was talking to Victor, and I just loved how Victor kind of called him out because he was like, "Well, I'm here to help to, to find Bo," and he's like, "Um, why don't you get your wife and kid 
worried about first before yeah. you start going out after about which I kind of agreed with. It's well, like you came back. Yeah. You keep saying you want to be with Kayla, but then you're going to go to Victor and be like, I need to find Bo. Yeah. Well, also, quickly getting distracted by the ISA. <laughs> Victor was like, you know, Bo. You know, ran off and left his uh, his child and wife. You know about that, and I was just like, "Oh, Victor! Oh, oh no Victor. one can get away with it like Victor can." But apparently, uh, Steve has plans on staying in Salem, and you know, he says he is. You know, and uh, Joey kind of felt like he was using him as the excuse to come back to Salem. Yeah, for a second, right? Kayla, of course, is still all discombobulated. Mm-hmm. She has no idea what's what yeah. to think of anything right now. So, and then it, I also found it interesting that um, going to the conversation that he had with Victor, that he went back and looked at the letters that Bo was sending, and he was kind of like, we didn't have a mission in Tahiti. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't say anything, anything about, about Sierra's, Sierra's birthday. birthday. So, but then it's one of those moments where it's like, Victor, you didn't pick up on that? Like, no one... Well, Victor wouldn't have known about Tahiti, so I'll let right. that pass. But Sierra's birthday. Uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, I guess if... I mean, I don't have kids, And so no one I else has seen these? I don't know that that's as far-fetched as it... Sh- you know what I mean? Like, is it... Uh, I don't know. Somebody who has kids, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I don't know, would you really... Like, I mean, I could see him writing a letter and not mentioning Sierra's birthday. Like, that just doesn't seem that... I, I mean, I get... They got to have something to make the story go. I yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess. how it works. I, I don't know. If, if the letters were coming from Bo, I think he would have mentioned it. But also, I feel yeah. like these letters popped up out of nowhere because we have literally not heard of Bo for in the past three years. Yeah. Well, there's a lot. I, it, it's funny, too, because with the new writing, there's a couple things that I'm just kind of like, it's like, I just had to, I literally said to myself, I'm like, okay, you have to just get over it, Mark, and just accept the fact that this is, you know, it is sudden. Mm-hmm. It's not normal. Right, right. <laughs> the fact that now Justin is diehard DA, we need to, you know what I mean? Like, it just went from, I don't know if I want the job to, let's let's get me some yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be in a courtroom. You know what I mean? Like, it's everything is, like, so, such a, a drastic shift yeah. that it's, like, I just have to kind of tell myself, okay, you can get through this. Like, just accept the fact that. This is how things are now. You have to accept things yeah. as they're they're yeah. coming, and in. it's fine. And I don't, I don't just. Dis- there's nothing really that I'm like. Eh, I don't know if I like that. Yeah. Um. You know, the whole Rafe thing happened really fast. Like now he's, you know, back in like everything. All of a sudden is gone. But we yeah. see that a lot with like Stefano. It's mm-hmm. like he's he's un- like now like he should be arrested, and it just kind of went away. This is oh yeah because yeah, he was he could never fly back in, and all of a sudden he was like no. oh I got that taken take care, care of. of. <laughs> and it's like so, but how yeah yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't... I like it. I, I, I'm, I'm liking it. I see already how it's... I mean, I can. I, I think everybody can see the see the difference. Yes, yes. It Visually, definitely is a difference. Um, yeah. Thank you for giving everybody their own office. Or better at disguising the same office. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I just... I, I don't know. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that was kind of... I Just, like, the, the sudden change for me. I just have to kind of just go, okay, this is just how it is now. Yeah, yeah. And I... I, I it's going to be interesting to see the other kids with Joey. Mm-hmm. Because, like, you I'm know... I'm curious to see how this is going to go, yeah. too. Yeah. I, I, I still feel like, you know, another teen scene, like, from the 90s, the, the Salem High with yep. Belle and Philip and Sean and and uh, Mimi and all those, we're going to replay that now with Theo, Sierra, Claire, yep. Chase, um, am I forgetting someone? Yeah. Uh, and Joey. And Joey. Yeah. Like, but now, instead of being high school, they're going to be more freshmen in college. Oh, are they? Aren't they? Oh, I don't oh, know. Oh, no, wait. They said Salem Prep. I thought he was a freshman. Prep. I, I think they're high school. Because she, are, she mentioned middle school. school when she was talking about, oh, to okay. the guy. But she said, well, in middle yeah. school, he did this and this and this. They, they're they're so. gonna, it's going to be another teen team yeah. like that. Because uh, they never really did that. Like, uh, like JJ in that, he kind of came in no. not, like, at the end. Like, like he graduated from high school and then went to Salem. Yeah. But but they, they kind of tried to do that with, like... You know, JJ and Paige and Bev and mm-hmm. all them. Didn't work. No. Well, no. you know why? Because all the parents kept showing up to the university. <laughs> That's why it didn't work out. 
Um, but I'm, I'm curious to see how all of this is now going to play out now with like another super couple um, coming back into pet play, uh, Kayla and, and Steve, yeah. and now Joey. So that's going to be, and I love that they showed them a lot this week. Good for Mary Beth Evans, uh, who plays Kayla, getting yeah. that screen time. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm really happy to see her. It's funny because I keep every time I see like Steve comes in uh, into a scene mm-hmm. with somebody, and it's like, oh, and they're like, oh, hi, Steve. Da, da, da. I always have to stop and go, okay. How, I'm I, I'm trying to remember their past. I'm trying mm-hmm. to remember how they know each other and stuff. I'm like, Ugh, just stop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just enjoy the show. For for a while, when they because seeing Kayla so angry at him, I was like, what is yeah. their history? But then they finally said that he just left her in Africa with Joey. Um, right. And off to an ISA, you know, assignment. assignment. But Joey blames her. Right. You know, for, for Steve leaving, which is so teenage-like. Right. Like, I, there was a moment where but I was watching, did... and I was like, oh, my God, we're going to be dealing with teenagers and teenage angst and all that. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, that's why I don't have kids. I have dogs. <laughs> um, what was, oh, shoot. What was I just going to say? Um, what were you saying before that? You were talking about... Um, Africa, the, t- the ISA, Africa, the teenagers. Oh, I don't, it's gone. oh my god, so, old age. Okay, it's gone. Okay, yeah, Caroline. It's gone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, oh, and also, uh, Steve recognizing that uh, uh, it said Dr. Kayla Brady oh, I was and not say that Johnson. Earlier. Yeah, he's yeah. like, oh, I see. I see you like Brady Maybe better. Yeah, and she's like, yep, I've yep. always been proud of it. What's wrong with Johnson? Well, I'm just like, oh. Oh, the other thing I like, and I'm hoping this continues. We're start that Brady Booth is starting to. Expand. You're starting to see more of the room. Oh, the pub. There's a, now a table in front, and yes. another day they kind of did it on an angle, so you kind of saw the booth behind. Yes. So I was like, okay, let's, We're let's start. Let's We're start expanding. going out to the We're front, expanding. front, so we can have see, a, see a whole what, what, scenes what in renovations there. were were had. Yeah. Um, and that is pretty much what happened this week with Kayla Patch and yeah. Joey, right? Yeah. Um, so. Real quick, let's take it to the the chat rooms and see how you guys have been feeling about uh, this storyline with with Kayla. <laughs> yes, it's uh, re- now I'm now I'm tongue tied because Billy's not here. <laughs> I'm tongue tied when he is here. I'm tongue tied <laughs> when he's not here. Uh, you you would think that Victor should have showed Hope those letters so that this stuff wouldn't go as far as it did. I agree, kind of Michelle. It showed uh, well, but. I would assume he, she was getting similar letters, right? Or no? Apparently not. I guess Cause, not. Because she, she said she never really, yeah. Because she, she said, you know, very snarkingly to when yeah. when Steve came to, to see her. Like, she was like, I don't know. I ain't heard from him in three years. And yeah. went about her business. And I was like. But yet she had daydreams about him, which she's never had. When recently? Yeah, she had a. She was walking through the town square, and she was thinking about. Oh, remember they had that dream montage. sequence and yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. and then yeah. he re- she remembered herself saying, "Brady, yeah. I gotta continue with my life and move on." Oh yeah, and all that, yeah, all that, that whole yeah. scene. Well, I think that's exactly how she did it, and scene. Thank <laughs> you. Well, speaking of hope, um, <laughs> she got proposed to by Aiden, mm-hmm. and she didn't said give no. a yes. <laughs> she yeah, didn't give a no. no. She said maybe. Yeah. Hmm. She said no for now. She said maybe. I think she said no for now. No, no, she said maybe. <laughs> I'm getting her She's, and Marlena but, mixed up. But I love... <laughs> right. Um, but a lot of engagements she, going on. Yeah, yeah. But Abby, Marlena, Marlena Hope. Hope. Is that's that it? it? Yeah. Oh, no, and Nicole. Oh, yeah, she's engaged. Fish to that guy. That What guy, Mark? I don't know. What? What's he's, his name? I don't know, because he's not on very much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, so she says maybe, but she the reason why she says maybe is because she wants to make sure that it's what's best for her and Sierra, right? Which I'm like at this point, really, like I think Sierra is cool with yeah with Aiden, yeah. Unless she's gonna pop up Soros and like all angry and be like, "Where's my dad?" Yeah, Which, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen with the new yeah kids. Although I, she the the girl who plays Sierra. Looks like Christian Alfonso. She really does. I know Christian Alfonso tweeted out a picture of them together yeah. on set, and I was just like, oh my God, they yeah. really do. She's look got the eyebrow and yeah. everything. Oh my God, if she starts doing that. I know! Oh my God! 
<laughs> and like, and like during, during her scenes, you just see that one eyebrow just kind of go, I'm like, oh, the days. <laughs> uh-huh. You guys did good. Um, but um, there's all this excitement because while uh, uh, Hope and Julie and Maggie and Carolyn and Kayla were working on uh, the Horton Center mm-hmm. uh, stuff. Uh, Maggie and um, and Julie bring up the uh, proposal yeah. and had figured that Hope had said yes, but she didn't. And it seems like, you know, the people who are rooting for Aiden and Hope are only Maggie and Julie. Yeah. Uh, Victor, and, Victor and Carolyn are yeah, not. They were not. Uh, that that scene. That, <laughs> the scene with Maggie, Carolyn, and, and Victor, Victor. And Maggie was like, I'm going to need your help convincing yeah. him that it's okay for Hope to marry Aiden. And Carolyn's just like, well, I'm kind of on the same yeah. page as him. And then Maggie's like, I felt like Maggie's face was like, the hell, yeah. woman? Like, yeah. seriously? Yeah. Like, great. But did she really think that, I mean, Bo's her child. I know, but you, I don't know. I and guess... didn't Caroline already give Hope her blessing? I believe in, in, so. In a, like, because yeah. I feel like Hope went to her and was yes. like, you know, I just want you to know I'm moving on. Da, da, da. I really, you know, I'm in love with Aiden. And, and Caroline was like, you know, I'm happy for you. Da, yeah. da, da. You know, he left you. Da, da. So, again, it's another one of those you know, but we just have to kind of accept. Okay, I can't. I'm starting to see now that Maggie feels like a third wheel. Like she, yeah. like she sees. I hope that's a triangle. Yeah, I'm but, really hoping that Victor, Caroline, Maggie becomes a triangle. Do we really need that I triangle? I would love that. Why do we need I that triangle? I think it would be fun. I think it'd be fun. And and Caroline's hair is different. She doesn't. She's not a redhead. Did you notice that? That's what was different yeah. about her. I kept looking. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I, 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 kept, I was like, oh, why did she look at my... Oh, she's yeah. not a redhead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Aiden in these mysterious phone calls. Yeah. I, I but we had a, an idea. We read a idea on here, right? Yeah, that... Okay, so someone in the chat room, I believe it was Lily, said that Aiden might be involved with Bo's, Bo's disappearance, disappearance, which... Being in the dungeon. Yeah, which leads to, like, the mysterious phone calls and, like, trying to get hold of And I don't think that's Peter Reckle's hand. You know what? I I think it's a double. I think so. It just doesn't look like his hand. I think it's it's a double until they do the shot of the tattoo. No, I think it's I think it's a double. Really? I think it's all a double. I don't know. I want to know because it, somebody it, from Days of Our Lives tweet me and let me know. It, it seemed really weird, like the whole like the hand thing, the eating, and all that looked weird. And then he did like a cut, mm-hmm. and then it almost looked like they were like, "Okay, Peter, get in." And then he was just like, "Yeah, you know but I mean? maybe they inserted stuff later." Yeah. I don't know because I, I the hand every time I see the hand, I'm like, "That's not Peter Ruckel's hand." Like yeah. I don't know how I know that, but it just doesn't look like his hand. Uh-huh. And when he comes back, I'm gonna look at his hands and be like, "No, that wasn't." No, Peter. that wasn't his hand. Yeah, um, I do look at hands a lot though. I don't know why I do that. It's weird. I know. It's a I don't know weird. why I do. Um, and that's pretty much that's all that happened with with Aiden and Hope. I mean, uh, and Hope, you know, of course, uh, uh, knows that Patch is back. And Steve is back in town, yeah. and he, she didn't give him a warm welcome either. No, no. There's uh, a lot of angst. Yeah, against, it'll, it'll be interesting to Steve. see where. How it all develops and where it comes from and all that. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Hope should have said yes or no to Aiden's proposal? Uh, Would you guys like to see Hope with Aiden or Hope with Bo? Uh, I think she should marry him and they should recreate Bo stealing her from the aisle on the the motorcycle again. (laughs) Hey, it's not a bad idea. here's, Here's the thing. I know that Days is trying to get back to like the root of, of right. like how everything was before, mm-hmm. but I don't want to see the same stories being told. Right, that's my concern. But I would almost rather see Hope with Aiden, yeah, and not with Bo, yeah, only just to give it a fresh take, yeah. Like we know how Hope and Bo are, yeah, and we can always put them together. They, n- no one will just, no one will be upset about it. No one will no, disagree yeah. with it. No one will be like, oh, why are they doing that? Yeah. Just let, and that, and that was one of my issues from the very beginning with Hope is just this whole thing that she's never been with any other person. Da, da, da. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that that's not possible and that it's not, you know, attainable by any means. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, especially for daytime, it's like, 
I mean, you've got to have you've got to have that. There stuff. has to be a progression. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I feel like in Salem, the same couples can't always be together. And I think that that's why sometimes I would get. I don't want to use the word, but bored with mm-hmm. Bow and Hope is because it's always the same. Yeah. Fancy face, Brady, yeah. blah, 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 yeah. you know, this and that. And it's just like, okay, you yeah. know, and they say that as soon as you're together, there's no story. So I think yeah. that's why I get like that. And I don't, again, I, I don't hate either of them by any means. No. But, but I, it's I, just kind of, it's like Sammy, you know, it's like. She was with everybody. She's with every, and, and and not that I, everyone needs to be with everybody, but it's like it's at least more entertaining when her and EJ are going at it, and mm-hmm. you and know, then and, and then it, maybe it's Lucas, and then maybe it's Rafe, and then maybe mm-hmm. it's da da da. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so let's see. A lot of people said uh, Bo and Hope belong together. Team Hayden. They like my idea about Bo. A lot of people are down with Hope and Rafe, and I wouldn't be I upset wouldn't be about a, that. I wouldn't be upset about it either. I wouldn't be upset about it. I'm just, like you said, I think last week, I feel like they had a chance to make Aiden the bad guy. They did. And they didn't take it. And now to go back and make him the bad guy, I'm just like, mm. yeah, I don't know about that. Um, Carolyn said she'd get a kick out of a triangle with Bo, Hope, and Rafe. Yeah, absolutely. But what about Aiden? Team Bope. Yeah. Team Rope. Hashtag Rope. Hashtag Rope. Uh, Bope is boring. Hope it I, that's it, what it is. Says. I'm sorry, James Lott Jr. is probably watching me and he's gonna be he's gonna hit me next time he sees me. <laughs> and my friend Glenn, who loves Christian Alphonse. Oh. Now um on to <gasps> Oh how what, about what could we transition into, what Mark? Could we? What storyline could we? Oh wait, what's my screensaver? Billy Flint. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not my, it's not I my actually screen. looked over. No, it's not, it's not my screensaver. It's actually your reaction to Billy Flint is on there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's still saved on my laptop. Um, I will have you know that I just did that look to you too. So <laughs> obviously, it's a look to everyone. It's you know for, why? Because you see the love I have for Billy, and you're trying to get some of. I don't know. That's, that's my For those of you who think that Billy Flynn broke me down when he was here, he did not. He did. And Billy Flynn, if you're watching, still not convinced. <laughs> <laughs> Although, and he hasn't convinced Salem PD either that he has not killed Serena. Oh, well, talk about all the evidence being stacked up against him. But it's him. not. But you know what, though? What was was so funny, and I, this is what I was referring to with Justin, mm-hmm. is he's like, why haven't we arrested Chad yet? He's clearly done it. Da, da, da. And Rafe literally went down the list and was like, and it's not. It's not yeah. evidence to arrest somebody. Right. Like It's premature. Let's dial it back. So yeah. I was actually kind of glad Rafe did that. I mean, because obviously I don't want Chad to go to jail. <laughs> um, and if he does, I want to be there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, shame on you, Mark. Go to jail. Uh, <laughs> don't drop the soap. <laughs> can I get relocated to Salem, please? <laughs> um, no, I just, it's it, he hasn't. Okay, he got drunk, and yes, I mean, the napkin with the blood, he yeah. explained it. You yeah. know what I mean? There was no, no one has seen them in the park together. You know, yes, they were seen, last seen together, but that's not evidence. Yeah. So, well, and also, I like that Rafe is playing it very carefully because everyone knows that Chad was the reason why he got fired from the Salem PD anyway. So if he was like Justin and jumped to conclusions and booked Chad and everything like that, then it could have came back. And Chad was the, the reason Rafe got fired. Oh, that good. I was just going to say, I yeah. know that they said the bad blood, but I was trying to remember what it was. But That's it, was, what it was Chad. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Okay. I was um, trying to remember what that was. So I like that he is making it a point to, you know, cross his eye, cross his T's and dot his eyes. Yeah. Um, to make sure he doesn't jump to a conclusion. Yeah. Now, Justin. Now being appointed the new DA, since now Abe is now the new mayor, which I love how the writers are like just kind of sticking people back in like everybody's, certain, certain things. Everybody's got new jobs. Yeah, everybody's yeah. got a new. I mean, which I don't. Again, I don't mind it. It's just I just have to go. Okay, forget everything just, you that just you've been have watching to, you just for the have last to three years. Receive everything because yeah. I given. don't. I actually enjoyed, and I thought. Nicole having the job that she had, the investigative reporter, was a great job for her. Yeah. She's nosy. She's, you know what I mean? Well, she's guess a, what? Not anymore, because she yeah, quit. Now she's a CEO, you know, wants to be a CEO. So, which is fine, again, and I'm sure it'll be great, and she's fantastic, so I, yeah. she could be a hamburger flipper at McDonald's, and I'm sure she would knock it out of the ballpark. And she'll make $15 an hour, Exactly. Apparently. And that's right. That's right. Yeah. Minimum wage now. Uh, um, but I just, I, 
I again, I have to just go. Okay, you just have to receive accept it. it. You just have and to go, accept okay, it and receive it. New mayor, new this. Yeah. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna write something down because we'll talk about it later. I I really do not. I'm really starting to not like Ben because he is holding on to the fact that he knows that Abigail and Chad slept together. Mm -hmm. He is pressuring Abigail for whatever reason to Mm -hmm. get married now. Like, why wait four months? Yeah. Because Abigail was... I think he knows, though. I think he just wants to seal the deal. Okay. But sorry, my diet coke. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> I think like he's just like he just, he's afraid she's gonna go. Okay, I don't want you. I don't care about the baby. I want to be with Chad. I think he's just trying to. Not that being married is gonna stop that from yeah. happening. Um, sanctity of marriage. Uh, <laughs> but you know what I mean. But it's but he's just going about it so creepily. You know what yeah. I mean? Like um, the the whole wanting to be rushed. The whole trying to paint Chad out to be. The killer, right? Uh, well, my dad said your dad is not a part of the Salem PD. And for the record, what you don't know is that your dad is a drug lord. So yeah. how about you dial your dad back? Yeah. Now, did did we? I know I'm kind of jumping story. Sorry. Mm. Um, did we? We already knew that Clyde was working with Kyle. Yes, we okay. do. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they, no one else really. No one else does. Okay. Right. Um, so I, I I don't like how how he's being that way and. Is it me, or does it seem like they're doing the pregnancy stuff with Abigail too quickly? Like, I don't know much about being pregnant, (laughs) but, um, you know, she's already having cravings, and, you know, the whole, like, you know, I think, was it maybe last week, where he was like, um... Have you felt it kick? And I'm like, she's okay, not even no. showing. Yeah, it's yeah, like you know yeah, I mean? the head of a pin. And then <laughs> they're all they're they're shopping for. And and I feel like almost. And see if you're on the same page with me that they're trying to do all this stuff with Ben, and give him this experience of the pregnancy right before they go. It's Chad. It's, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly, exactly. And he's well. I also have to think too. I was thinking this the other day. There's got to be a part of him that's still not sure whether that's his or Chad's. Yeah. So I think that's part of it, too. Whether he's saying that or not, that's got to be part of the the situation. I was also thinking, um, how far-fetched would it be that Ben's the serial killer? Helping, like, I mean, justifiably, you know, setting Chad up to get rid of him. Right. Our next death, what you know, whatever that may be, you know, I'm curious to see who that will be and if there's a way we could tie it to Ben. I don't know because he's still technically on the show, right? He he has. There's no been an announcement that he's gone, right? Uh uh-uh. No. So he's still on. Yeah. So maybe it's not him. So I maybe I'm lying. I don't know. Sorry. At this point, well, at this point, we. I mean, we know that the serial killer storyline is coming up, but at this point, there's only been one death. Right. So we think another one next week. Yes, there is one. There is sure. another one next yeah. week. Yes, okay. but I love that they pointed and, out. But we're not. We don't think uh, there's not talk that Kyle is part of this, like that he's one of the no. Because apparently Kyle is no longer. Kyle is dead. Yeah, which we had a. We we we, un, we, we unfortunately were watching a car chase car in chase. L.A. for the Ugh. ten minutes. Car chases in L.A. Um, but, uh, Be but glad we'll, you live in middle America and you don't have car chase. <laughs> right. Um, but we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. Um, I love that um, D- Justin went toe-to-toe with Chad and was talking about all the stuff that basically they know about the case. Mm-hmm. And he mentioned the necktie. And I wanted to say, that's like the key evidence because Chad does not mm-hmm. wear a tie. tie. Yeah. Like, But supposedly it's his tie? Like where did where so did he, he went home got a tie and came back? He was like, "Oh, you don't want to sleep with me? Let me go home and get one of my dad's yeah. ties." Well, and just even kinda... you know, again, I'm going to go back to what Rafe, what Rafe said when he was kind of in a weird sense defending Chad. Mm-hmm. Is like, what did he do? You know, if if it's a crime of passion, what did he went home and got gloves? Yeah. So there were no, you know, this yeah. and that. I'm like exactly. But he went home and got a tie and then got gloves and then came back and then found her in the like, all it's just this so, while drunk. Yeah, exactly. Listen, when you're exactly. drunk. You, yeah. I hope it wasn't the tequila I gave him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hope it was. There's a new, there's a new character in Salem named Lorraine Love, Lorraine Love. who's going around killing people who gets in Chad's way. Oh my God! You're. <laughs> 
I'm like, did you hit Billy Flynn? You're dead. It's one of my ties. Did you, you didn't even know it's one of my ties that I wear. We have buzz. figured out <laughs> who is actually. If, if someone else interacts with Billy, with Chad. <laughs> And then they go. Then I know it's you. <laughs> I know for sure. With the, and you have been sitting on this panel and not telling us well, that you are a new character. Well, when you come do extra work, they hide me because they don't want you. Because to. they don't want me to know. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. How about Abigail at the end? When first of all, how weird was it for everyone to be in the square to see that Chad was talking with uh, Aiden? And obviously had hired Aiden to be his yeah. lawyer. And uh, for everyone to kind of see that, um, Eric and Ben and Abigail, and Eric questioning um, Chad. Chad if he killed Serena. Yep. And all of them standing there in anticipation, and he goes, I didn't kill Serena. Aiden's like, didn't I just tell you just to say you're innocent? Yeah. And then Abigail goes, I believe him. Yeah. Thanks. I feel like I saw that clip before. I feel like they showed yeah. that on something. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah. yeah. He didn't do it. He, did, no. he didn't do it. He would I never think, do I, it. I think in two days fashion, the finger towards Chad is too early. Like, you, yeah, like almost when obviously. they're pointing the finger at Chad, you almost go, it's not him. Yeah. Let me look for other clues. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. I'm curious to see if it's going to be Clyde. I think it's too obvious, but yeah. at the same time, I don't know who else it could be. Who do you guys think it is? Yeah, Other who do you guys writing in here? Who do you Marks guys the think killer. the killer? Marks the killer. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. Sarah I, said. I expect that from Daquan. I don't expect that from you, Cheryl. <laughs> Sarah said, uh, "Ha ha!" Hashtag Maxine's son has called out. Hashtag That's Killer Lorraine right. Love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why didn't Chad and Aiden discuss at Aiden's office? Right. Why did they discuss at the Horton Town yeah, Square? Yeah, I was. Just, I was going to say that when you were mentioning that they were in the square. I'm like, yeah. Uh, I thought it was weird that they put Eric in a tie when he came into the police station to identify Serena's belongings. Okay. Who? Eric. Because uh, remember they called Eric in to, to help them with yeah, like he any clues or up. anything. Yeah, yeah, he was kind of dressed to the nines. Yeah. Uh, Leah says, I love how Ben is all you lawyered equals you guilty when five minutes ago Aiden was oh, Ben's lawyer. Ben's lawyer. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, people think Ben is the killer. Yeah. Uh, Flash agrees with it's me and Aiden. says that Mark is the killer. The, the killer. <laughs> um, someone says it's Aiden. So yeah, uh, we shall see. If I was the killer, here's here's how it would have played. <laughs> when Billy, when Chad, Billy, when Chad woke up in the drunk in the hotel room, I probably would have been playing <laughs> next one. Going, Hi. <laughs> I took care of business for you. <laughs> that redhead girl ain't gonna be bothering you no more. <laughs> no more. That's right. our spinoff. That's the Mark and Billy show. Yes. <laughs> um, so we'll see how it progresses. Everyone's questioning Chad as to whether he did it. Um, Rafe is all on his case. Justin wants to see him yep. uh, go down. <laughs> Stefano is like, you need to tell me Stefano so I can went protect in you. The ho- in the room, by the way, he but, didn't even. No, not and for I don't anything. know. Maybe uh, Derek's got his job back and just letting people in the room. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, we haven't seen Derek in a while. I wonder we if it haven't. was him. We haven't. He's probably talking to the new bus b- bellhop. Being I, like, just let him in. It's okay. I do it all the time. I really hope they didn't drop the whole like well, gay. I'll say line. this. I, I it's probably one of the most. I I tweeted out something the other day saying, "Hey, if anybody used to watch Days." Now might be a good time to come back. They're getting back to the old, you know, storylines. It's not. And I have to say, I got a lot of comments. Um, clearly, people don't watch me on the show and don't know much about me. Uh-huh. But they were like, I can't believe that you're not standing up for the gay storyline. And they've gotten rid of all the... I'm never watching it again if they get rid of these gay storylines. Um, clearly, I don't want that to go away. Right. I'm, you know, it's the first second full week of the new writing yeah. let's dial it back let's, let's give let's, it a hot second they need a horses. vacation yeah. everybody you know uh, Sunny just left we need to let that settle down no one else we've heard of is going away yes. on uh, of those characters so let's just all dial it back and let's see what what, what comes happens? out of that like I'm not I'm, if it comes to that we'll deal with it then let's yes. not be premature and turn off our televisions and think that Ken Corday or these new writers have something against have an anti-gay agenda or something like yeah. that. Because um, trust me, I'll be at the head of that picket line. <laughs> Dressed as Lorraine Love with a sign that says future Mrs. <laughs> Chad DeMera. Gina won't, Gina won't like it too much. But yeah, whatever. Me and Gina. I got you, girl. Um, uh, 
Before we go to tidbits, though, yes. let's talk a little bit. We mentioned this several months ago mm-hmm. about um, uh, Maria Menounos mm-hmm. and Juliana Huff, who were started an Instagram battle dance. Yes. Uh, and and um, we were asking you guys to submit if you wanted to compete in a possible new show and it looks like it is coming to fruition yay yay so um start eight families uh were chosen and are coming to la to battle it out Mm -hmm. in a new abc show called dance battle america on abc it's going to be premiere september 14th at 10 p.m after dancing with the stars look at that so hope it looks like it's everything's kind of coming together so congratulations did you and your family submit um my family (laughs) and i did not um so you will not be one of the eight families? I will not be one of the eight me? families. Okay. Although I'm still vying for a role on Days, Days of Our Lives. Lives. Hashtag, hashtag Maxine, Maxine Sun. <laughs> hashtag Maxine Sun. Hashtag Maxine um, Also, before we get into tidbits, I want to remind you guys that later on in the show, we will be announcing the winner of the two tickets to the September 11th event in St. Louis uh, by Starstruck Fan Events. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And make sure you like us and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. All right, so tidbits. First of all, uh, John and Marlena rekindling and their love they had for a one another. They tour through the edge, yes. which I thought was cute. I thought, I thought it was great to reintroduce fans of present and past exactly. and future exactly. to the, I think, the super couple of days. Yeah, John and Marlena are the, the couple. Yeah, absolutely. And it kinda, I mean, after me and Billy, <laughs> <laughs> it kind of it, it reacquainted us yeah. with with that. But I will say, I like this new Marlena, who's kind of like sassy. She's a little yeah, sassy. Yeah, she's like, listen, we've been through a lot. We've been married thirteen times. I don't know if I want to be married fourteen. Yeah, and it, it, she's just kind of <laughs> like. Those were the best years of my life, but also the hardest years yeah. of my life. Yeah. And she's just like, I'm not sure if I want to... Like, John's all gun ho Like, you know, you're my girl. Doc, let's do this. You yeah. Know? And she's just kind of like, I'm not sure you're ready for me this time. Mm-hmm. Like, I need you to be 100% present. And even when, like, you know, he did all this romantic stuff and, you know, and then it comes to the next morning and he got the rose. So did he and- stay over? It doesn't look like he's... Well... That was my first thing. I was like, "Um, you said he couldn't stay over. So did he... And I hope this means that we're going to see the penthouse again, too. Right. Those stairs. Hopefully. Well, it'll probably be redesigned. I have a feeling. If they Um, do it, but... Oh, that's right, because... That was yesteryear. Then I think she changed penthouses or houses. Uh, but he did all this romance and then was like, oh, I'm being called away to D.C. for something with the ISA. And she was like... Really? Yeah. After you cleared my schedule, she was like, oh, and like, that was that moment where she was like, oh, no. Yeah. You don't, no, no, no. Yeah. You don't do that. Right, right, right. You don't, you don't. But then she thought that he faked it. Yeah. To be able to cancel it, mm-hmm. to make it look like that, which I thought was kind of yeah. funny. And then I, it, you know, he's all like, let's just do it. Let's get married. She was like, no. She was like, we can, she's like, you have a month. Yeah. To prove to me that yeah. you really, and if you really want to so be married a to a month me, long bed marriage, yeah, then yeah. if you can prove to me in a month, then we'll do it. So, does that mean that they can have sex now? Make love? Sorry. I don't know. I mean, if you're married, isn't that part of marriage? Oh, no, not having sex is part of marriage. Sorry, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> And I don't know if anyone else is, if anyone else had this thought, but I only had this thought when I saw them kiss. And I thought to myself, I don't know if Drake is like that great of a kisser. Well, Did you see okay. how like he went in for like her mouth? All like all I noticed was he was holding the phone and then like when he held it, he like put it next to her ear. I was like, is he ma- letting her make a phone call? Like it looked like he was putting the phone to her ear so she could talk to somebody. I'm like, that was just odd. I don't know. But I yeah. noticed the most asinine things on the show. Yeah. I'm always looking at like I'm not even paying to the story paying attention to the storyline because I'm like, oh, the label on that bottle looks like it's upside down. Like that's the stupid stuff that I noticed. Yeah. Um I'm gonna mention this because I don't think it's listed in our tidbits. It was one of the things I wrote down and um I guess kind of related to yes. Marlena. And, uh, and John is that we saw Roman and in a scene with Kate, yes. which I thought was interesting. I was like, huh, I wonder if we're going because she's and she even says, I need a change. I need a new job. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> new because job. all of a sudden 
it's like things were going well with her and Clyde. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, boom, it was kind of like this disconnect. Yeah. And then now it's turned into a blow, which I did not appreciate Clyde being like, you're always late. My yes. God. And I'm like, I was but like, this is the same person who cancels on her all the time. I loved that she was like, what is this, 1960? I always <laughs> peed myself. That was only going to be my quote of the week. I just thought it was like, because that, that was the first thing I thought of. I'm like, yeah. well, who says that to somebody anymore? Yeah. Especially a, a man to a woman. Like, you don't say that kind of shit. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. Sorry. Am I allowed to say Am that? Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no. And then I, I was like, good for you, Kate. Like, I don't, I think the way that Clyde is stirring to, yeah. you don't need to be a part of that. No. no. You're better than that, Kate. Yeah. And I and, and sitting, having her sit with Roman kind of reminded me of their time together. But I don't really want them together. That's me. I know I'm gonna get yelled at, but I don't I don't I don't I wouldn't mind it. I don't know. I'm just so protective of Kate. Why are you so protective I of Kate? I just love her so much. <laughs> I just I just like there's nobody that I ever only person I I honestly if there were, if I had to pick somebody on the show t- for her to be with uh-huh. I would put her back with Victor. She, he's like the only one that is that on her level her. that can yeah. compliment her. That yeah. you know, it just the the scenes together would just be brilliance, uh, brilliance twenty four seven. I love that Patty Ray said. I've always hated how John kisses. <laughs> yeah, he's always been that way. Yeah. yeah, he's always been that way. But I don't mind. And you know, I and I've said this before. He was. I have a little soft spot for him because of the day that I went with Kirsten Storms and spent the day on the set. Mm -hmm. He was the kindest, sweetest person and, like, literally took me around and showed me sets that she wasn't allowed to go on and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I... I still have a little soft spot for him. Well, I mean, he's a nice guy. Yeah, yay Drake. <laughs> um, but uh, speaking, he didn't of, have to do that. He didn't have to do that. He could have been like, ah, sit over there, homo. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of, we were just talking about Clyde. We, yeah. It's now revealed to JJ that Clyde is the head of the whole drug operation. Yeah, and little twist of, I got a little worried. Because okay, first of all, Kyle, why would you have JJ test the meth? Like that didn't make sense. Well, I because I mean, you're, you're smoking the product. I know you don't get free samples of meth and then go sell it. Well, I know. I mean, I know why he was doing it because they he knew that JJ was up, so he was trying to like right make but, him do it because he knew that he he wouldn't want to do it. Like I get that. Yeah, but yeah, I know what you're saying. It, it, like, are you are you sampling all, like? I can, if it was part of your operation before, fine. But it's not like you're, you know, testing everything out when it comes in. No, you get it, you sell it. Yeah. Um, But I got a little worried for JJ because um, Kyle calls Clyde. Oh, I thought you were going to say I got worried for him because his mom couldn't get a hold of him. Well, that too. (laughs) But but then, you know, Clyde comes in and, you know, JJ gets knocked out. For Mark and I, that's when the car chase happened. So I had to ask. We didn't see anything. uh, We should have watched on Pop TV. Later that night. We I know, I keep forgetting that we it's on have. there. Yes, I keep forgetting that it's on too. there. Me so too. For those for, of you who, yeah, who you know, uh, aren't aware, Pop TV does show the same day's episode that day at night at 8 p.m. In case you miss it during the day or in case your DVR messes up or in case you have to watch a 10-minute car chase. <laughs> Actually, it was longer than 10 minutes. I think it was almost 15 minutes. No, it was 10 because I saw it on my DVR. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so, um, so Clyde comes in and basically Clyde has now made JJ the new... Um, the new Kyle, but I, the moment I thought was a little funny was when JJ explained the whole thing with Eve and pay, like basically yeah. trying to say like Eve is silly, like you know she would say anything and right, you know we kind of had a thing. Clyde was kind of intrigued by it. He was yeah. kind of like, "You mean you and Eve?" And I, and I almost <laughs> felt like it was about to be followed by a, "Well, hot damn." <laughs> Damn, well, son. Damn. Look at you, son. Did we say damn? Sure. <laughs> Look at you, son. You were able to pull something like that. Well, hot damn. Yeah. That that I I felt like that was coming. Yeah. Um, he was kind of had everyone's reaction from six months ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when we actually saw it happen, yeah. we're like, well, hot damn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so there's so I mean now I just kind of feel like JJ is in deeper than he ever thought that he would be involved in. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I was very upset, though, that he told Paige. He cranked the music up and was like, so Clyde... And I'm like, don't tell Paige anything. Like, why? I don't understand why she's still involved. I don't know. Again, she's been saying for the last six months... Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to my mom. Yet, 
she still like you're sitting in a room writing scenes and you write the words for somebody to say don't talk to me yet somebody goes okay so now let's do a scene with Paige and her mother <laughs> well you just said I don't want to talk to you like does that not come <laughs> listen when you don't want to talk to someone you stay away but from those them. writers are gone well, yeah, they are. And now this these new writers are taking care of Paige, I think. Uh, I want to see Ben with Ava. Okay, when she comes back, that's an interesting oh, one. Oh, I thought about that, actually, this week. I was like, I wonder yeah. how Ava's going to work into all this <laughs> Kayla and, and, and uh, Steve stuff. Yeah. It'll be interesting. We, do we know her first air date? No. October. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I, I think I read that somewhere. Uh, Lunatic Nation. <laughs> oh, shoot. Cla- Clyde's a pervert. He was smiling. He wanted to know about the sex. <laughs> he did. Yeah. <laughs> totally did. Okay, so uh, moving on, because we're actually going to have you guys call in and talk to us about Perfect. some of your moments this week. Um, who else uh, under tidbits? I, my uh, thing just went down. Hold on how about me. Brady and Teresa? Oh, yeah, Brady and Teresa. <laughs> like, my thing went away. Um, yeah, we saw, had uh, now, so one of the new jobs is... Uh, uh, I keep their na- the names now. now that, <laughs> not Jen. Teresa um, is a fashion designer. She's since been 12. a fashion designer since she was young. Um, and she wants to own Basic Black. Not just, no money. Not just be a designer for An Basic inter- Black. An entry level. Yeah, no, she wants no, to own she it. She wants to own it. She wants to borrow money from everybody. And I love that everybody in Salem is so willing to just be like, oh, yeah, here's a million and a half. No, no, no. Everyone's looking at her like, <laughs> really? The only but one that she, so she wants it. She wants it. Nicole wants Nicole it. Nicole wants it. And, and Kate, Kate just is overheard about kinda it. Kind of stepped back and was like, uh, yeah. what? Yeah. So that actually might be quite interesting. As, as I far was as like who obtains it. Is this battle for basic black between yeah. these three divas? Yeah. Well, I'm kind of like liking that idea. I like that. I don't know. We There was a, a moment where I thought. Excuse me, it's not the Diet Coke, it's the KFC I had earlier. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, I, I thought it was a nice moment. I thought that Teresa's walls were breaking down with yeah. the scenes with her and mm-hmm. Maggie. Mm-hmm. But then, of course, I feel like it's still a part of a, the scheme of trying to get Brady and, and all that. And But it was also good to see her with Maggie with like the designs and, yeah. and Maggie being like, well, these are actually really good. And, yeah. and almost kind of Maggie going... I would be willing to help her get this and, yeah. and get the group together in order to like do this because she actually has a talent. Well, for it. my first thought when she started talking about design was when you guys were away. I did uh, those were the days about uh-huh. Calliope. Yes, who was a designer. Yeah. So I was like, oh, maybe they'll bring Calliope back. <laughs> I was like, yeah. That was my first thought. I even, yeah. I even started Googling. I was like, let's see what Arlene, uh, Arlene Sorkin's up to these days. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I loved, I, and we mentioned this earlier, but I'm going to specifically mention it since we're talking about Jen Lilly, mm-hmm. how beautiful she looked. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like everybody. I feel like Nicole's dresses, the way she looks, the way Jen looks, everybody's, it's just been turned up. Like full volume, yeah, yeah. and I love it. I thought Jen's dress was so cute. Mm-hmm. I, I think her hair, and I, well, I told her that when she was here because her hair was lighter yes. when she was here the last time. I was like, I really like it with the light <clears throat> streaks in it and stuff. Yes. Um, I hope that they do that with Abby too. <laughs> Abigail is more of a hipster. Yeah, you know, I guess. she's not really I'm like a. Not. You know, she's more fashion forward. I guess she's more fashion forward. Yeah. Um, who would you guys like to see take over Basic Black? Would you like to see Teresa, Kate, or Nicole take over Basic Black? Um, and then Teresa's upset because Nicole uh, has the help of Brady. Right. So yeah, Brady said that he would help Nicole. Um, and it's a low bid. It's a little bit, but he, I liked, oh, and then that was funny because I liked that the, he, Teresa was like, well, you need to help me. And he's like, okay, well, I'll, I'll help you too, but I still have to help her. So I don't, that'll be interesting to see what happens how that, that all turns out. Or maybe he'll say, you know, maybe they'll all only, you know, they all only have partial. Mm-hmm. So maybe he'll say, well, why don't the three of you? That will, I got it. I got that will it. not work. That it. It will not work. I it will it. not work. It will not work. It will not work. Not work. Not work. Not work. Not work. Well, I think that's what makes it work, is that it will be the clash of the Someone Titans. just said all three power trio. Yeah. Thank you, so, Cheryl. Someone said tri- triumphant Vericate. 
Wow. That's Bring a, Calliope that's back. Thank you, Chris Miller. I Anna agree. Anna and Calliope. Yeah. Um, all right. Except Abby. So, really quick, Adrian and Lucas? Um, eating waffles and then doing a triathlon. That's and all we need to say. I really... I'm <laughs> still not on board for them. I'm still not on board with that with them as a couple. I... I can't see it. I can't see it. I don't. Like, I, again, like, I don't. I don't mind it. it like, was, I just think it's silly. Like, like the Lucas story is so like, gushy over her, and yeah. she's just still kind of like, uh, it's just plain old me. Yeah. I, well, I, I think I think what they want to do is separate. Adrian and Justin for a little bit because yeah. I think Justin and Eve is something's gonna go on there. Yeah. So they had an interesting thing with the yeah. whole like drinking a TBD. Which and, I am uh, all we've said I've said this multiple times. Why not? I'm all about the drinking. What? And I think it helps with the storylines. You know, if your L's fails, give them a cocktail because sh- stuff will happen. <laughs> um no, I think they're just trying to keep them apart for a little while. So I th- I don't think the the uh Brian uh Brian. Lucas, Lucas and Adrian is going to go away anytime soon, so you might just have a deal. Um, I like this idea from Rook King. I want Maxine to take over Basic Black for some full-figured realness <laughs> fashion. Listen, and then if Maxine takes over, guess who can come in and be her fashionista? I got a whole closet her full son. of full-figure fashion. <laughs> and I'll bring over on a clothing rack. <laughs> All right, so guys, that has been your week of days, and yeah. now it's time to get into our segments, and we're going to start with mine and it's the three snaps award now there were a couple of things that i wanted to give the three snaps award to i thought about giving it to uh lucas who mentioned going to the waffle house for those of you who are (laughs) from the south you you know that a good old meal at a waffle house is really good i thought about giving it to nicole and that might be mentioned later but i'm gonna have to give it to someone who once again knows how to get out of a conversation that she doesn't want to be a part of. (laughs) Good old Carolyn Brady. She didn't have a stroke this time. No, she didn't have a stroke this time. (laughs) But she was sitting there, and she was listening to the whole thing with Aiden and Hope, and, and, you know, she's been having her her dreams about Bo. And you could see it in her face. She was just like, I don't want to be a part of this. And then she was just kind of like, got to go to the pub. They're (laughs) shorthanded. It was, it was almost like she, she you could see her wheels turning, and then... Wheels. Her. her, her <laughs> but up, bum. And then, once again, just like the last time, someone once again intercepts. This yeah. time it was Hope. And she was like, I hope I didn't make you feel uncomfortable. Then she's like, no, not at all. And she's like, you know what? I really have to go to the pub. We're short staff. And then she makes it. And so, the whole time I kept thinking, like... Callum Brady, you are my idol for getting out of conversations that you don't want to be a part of. And I was like, you know what? Once again, because you guys know I love uh, an exit for like how to get out of things. My first one was with um, Tori, and is there a back door? Yeah. <laughs> So once again, Carolyn Brady, you get Tony's official three Thanks, snaps man. award for once again. again getting out of a conversation that you didn't want to be a part of. <laughs> We're just going to go back and forth each week. You're going to yeah. do Carolina, I'm going to do Victor. You're going to do Carolina, I'm going to do Victor. <laughs> All right. And even though James Lott Jr. is not here, he still wanted to let you guys know who's related in Salem. So we have a special recorded message from James Lott Jr. so that you can find out just who's related in Salem. Uh, do we have that video all queued up and ready? Here we go. Oh, oh not that nope, one. That's not that's it. That's not James Lott Jr. <laughs> nope. That's not it. Uh, it's the other one. Oh, but while he's looking for that, I want to mention, somebody mentioned this in the room, which I thought was really interesting, is that um, Steve hasn't gone to see Nate Adrian yet. Are they related? They're brothers. <laughs> oh, they are. They are. <laughs> they are. Yeah, they're brother and sister. I was, kinda like, I was like, why would? Yeah. Okay. I just, I never, it never dawned on me, but somebody mentioned it in the room. Well, you know, like, he couldn't have too many meetings within the first week. Right. Yeah. They got to save some for next yeah. week. So, uh, Zach, do we have the look who's related video? Maybe. Possibly. Well, while we wait for that video, let's go on to Mark's quote. Oh, okay. Well, I'm still deciding. (laughs) (laughs) Because with the new writing, I feel like a lot of my, like every time I'm expecting something to be like, oh, it's coming. Here's going to be the quote of the week. It's not. (laughs) So I did pick a quote of the week, Mm -hmm. but we were talking a little beforehand. (laughs) 
<laughs> that I kind of want to do a moment of the week. Okay. Because there was something that, a couple things that made, we've talked about that made us really laugh out loud. But I feel like we have to give it to <laughs> Miss Nicole. Because <laughs> I was, I wanted, uh, I just, okay, I'm going to say this yet again. This woman is so brilliant. <laughs> I can't even get enough of her. She's like my female Billy Flynn. Um, so it's not, she, I guess it is a quote, but it kind of is more, uh, hopefully you'll remember the moment, is when she's talking to Brady mm-hmm. in the town square about, and he says he's going to give her the money. And she's like, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to erect a statue to you. Da, 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 da. And then she starts to leave and she's like, did I say thank you? Thank you. <laughs> It was brilliant. So, Nicole, Ari Zucker, you yet again. I, I, I think I'm going to have to go through our shows and start to get the tally and know how many times I've given it to her. Because that, it was just, it was so good. Hey, did I say thank you? Did I say thank, thank you? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, you Kudos get it. All right, and I think we have our... And uh, now we have our Look Who's Related, related. brought to you by James, James Law Jr. Jr. And then afterwards, we are going to open the phone lines for you guys to talk to us about this week of days. Don't forget the number is 424-256-1729. Here's James Lott Jr. with Look Who's Related. Hello, everyone. Hi, Tony. Hi, Mark. Hello. Hi, you guys. Hi, everyone watching. I am sorry I cannot be there today. I am um, in Sacramento with my grandson for his birthday. So I couldn't make it, but I'm there in spirit. I am actually going to hijack my own Look Who's Related. <laughs> <laughs> so, like me. this is the birthday weekend of Christian J. Alfonso, who plays Hope. And I believe she's Hope Williams at this point. I don't think she's Brady anymore. I'm sure she's Hope Brady. I think she's just like, I can't remember. But I love her so much. And the reason why I'm on this program co-hosting Dishon Days, why I watched the show was because of her. That's why I wanted to give a special mention. I started watching the show back in 1983 when she joined, when I saw her, and I loved her character as a plucky young girl um, that came from some kind of money, and she met Bo, who was this merchant marine, who was a bad boy from the wrong side of the tracks. I was hooked. And 30 years, something years later, I am still hooked. And I just want to give special mention to her, and we know who she's related to. She's like, she has a, a daughter being sore-assed, Sierra. She has a dead son, Zach. She has a grown son coming home, Sean Douglas. And a granddaughter, Claire, who's being sore-assed also. And all this happens, she still looks young and beautiful. So my addition to Look Who's Related is just a shout-out to Hope Williams, or Hope Williams Brady, or Hope Brady, or whatever her name is. It's all about hope. I'll see you guys next week when I return. Bye. Aww. Bye, James Law Jr. Thanks, James Law Jr. And I want to mention, by the way, um, we I had tweeted to James and said, uh, it's Christian Alfonso's birthday, and I haven't heard a peep from you. But to which he then said, refer back to earlier today in my earlier tweets. Uh, and he tweeted Christian Alfonso and said that it's also his gr- his grandson's birthday. And she tweeted him back. I saw that. She tweeted I saw him that. back. Yeah. So one step closer to hopefully having Christian Alfonso here in our studio. That would be amazing. Um, all right. So, um, also, you guys, don't forget, we used to do hashtag those were the days here uh, live on the air, but we are now going to uh, do that every Thursday on our Facebook and Instagram. So, to take you back as we celebrate Day's 50th anniversary, uh, we're going to remind you of characters and storylines with our hashtag those were the days, and that can be seen every Thursday for Throwback Thursday on our Facebook page and Instagram page at Dish and Days. Um, it's my turn, right? This week? This week, it will oh, be. To you, gotta work. Mark. You gotta work on it. It's probably something with Jack. <laughs> or Billy. Or Billy. Or Billy. My two Billies. My Jack. I already did Calliope. I'll figure it out. We'll figure, figure it out. out. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to open the chat lines because we want to talk to you guys and what you guys thought about this week. Um, and I believe we do have a caller already. Caller, welcome to Edition uh, Days. You're on live. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Hi. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Hi. It's Mel from Brooklyn. Hey. How are you? <laughs> Hi. I'm, I, you know what? I was calling. I was, it was busy and everything. And I said, oh, my God. I don't know if I'm going to get through. 
and then you just pop right up. I fell. I, I would get shocked. So anyway, so I, I love that everybody's always shocked. <laughs> They're like, wait, yeah, wait is I this Dish like and Dance? <laughs> yeah, you called us. We didn't call you. So don't be too shocked. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so what did you oh, think wow. of of this week of of days? What was your your favorite uh, storyline or favorite oh. moment that happened this week? You know what? I I wanted, I, but for the for the I guess for the past couple weeks, I would say that I'm feeling. The new writing. I think that um, I, I didn't think I called it a couple weeks ago when uh, when they first started, but mm-hmm. um, I liked it. The airiness of the Clyde and um, Aiden, everything they've been doing. I've, I've been loving that sort of very um, everything about that. Yeah, because um, Clyde yeah, has I, really started to show his kind of dark and like Stefano S, yeah. Victor S side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, I, and I know, and I hear people say that. But, you know, for me, when he when he had that. That scene with Joy and for me, like when the lady was on the show and I saw her, mm-hmm. um, he, I couldn't get past it. That was it for me right there. When he admitted to rape, he admitted murder. He, I mean, what else did he say? It's not sure that he was a villain. You know, he did it. He told that girl everything, and I felt so bad for um, Joy in that scene. And she was she was totally vulnerable because she was overpowered by her, and it was such a you know very um, deep scene. But you know, as far as him attacking other people in the town, like I was saying, you know, they try to make him like this Brian Cranston, the, the next Breaking Bad or something, you know. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, that's that's quite interesting. But um, I'm liking the veterans. I'm really, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm like, you know what? I, I like it. Like I talked about Marlena, and I liked it that you know, like you said, she's bringing the fast back, and you know, she done with the, she done with the Christian and all types of problems, mm-hmm. and you know, she you know, John trying to do it again. I'm like, you know what? You better go. I like that she put him in the place. You yeah. Know? Uh, I, someone, yeah, she did. She put him in the place, and um, I love Nicole, of course. But I'm feeling you. all the ladies, you know, find their inner Amanda Woodward. So they they, they want to mm-hmm. be CEOs, mm-hmm. and they don't want to be doing all the other crazy stuff that otherwise mm-hmm. doesn't do. And that's days of lives. You know, yeah. they have business, and you know, and all the divas sort of do the same thing. But I think that Sam is going to come in and just sort of crush the competition. I really do. I think she's going to come in. It's going to be a long build up and then Sam's going to come in and she's going to take over and then they'll have to deal with her for a hot second until she probably bounces out and you know do a lot of wonderful things that Alice is really doing but yeah. yeah I do I'm loving, I'm loving the show and I, I'm liking these uh, new you know man prospects I was happy I called him last week I was so you know it's good to call in when it's not 25 people in the, in the studio right now because <laughs> it's a little better because when you call in and y'all be talking like oh my god I felt like some kind of crazy person but it's good to have y'all two there. I love James too, but um, yeah, I'm still on the show. I'm very much still on the show. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, and thank you for being such a loyal fan and supporter. We really appreciate I will, that. I will, yeah, but my Sunday wouldn't be the same without me laughing. You know, I'm <laughs> be on the computer. Come on now, I'm still on this computer rolling with all the things y'all be doing with, with you with your snap. That you you be reading people, you be getting them <laughs> on point, you know. And I love Mark too with his his flirtation with Billy. You know, I love it. I love it all. Come on now. It's, oh, you kidding me? I'm, it's, it's everything with Sunday. I, and I got charred and I go to, you know, married to medicine. I, I'm sad. I got my little <laughs> Oh, oh well, I we're, love it. We're glad that we can be a part of your Sunday. I said my Sunday, <laughs> okay. well, my Sunday wouldn't you. be the same if I didn't get to drive into the L.A. desert called the Valley. Every. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'd be like, this is why I don't live in the valley. <laughs> you do it for the love of Billy Flynn. I do it. That's well, what it is. Okay. Thank you so oh, much for calling in. Thank and you. As always, keep supporting us. Bye. All oh. right. Oh. Oh. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have uh, another caller. Uh, you are on live with Tony and Mark and James and Spirit uh, for Edition Days. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Carolyn. I'm calling from Connecticut. Hey, Carolyn. How are you? Great, great. Wonderful. Um, I have to tell you, there's two things that I wanted to mention. First, Mark, I think you missed it on the quote of the week. (laughs) Well, you thought it was the wrap dress, right? I'm, yeah, I'm all about Teresa saying basic black doesn't make rap dresses. Rap dresses. See, right? see, we talked that, about I, it. I, we did talk about I it I was surprised about that, too. We, we talked yeah. about it, but yeah. I had to give it to Nicole. Sorry. Yes. Well, right, we'll, well, we'll I, clean I, out I, Carolyn's quote of the week. Yes. That'll be your quote of the week this week. <laughs> the, the other thing is I love that they're building up. I, I mean, I think they're rushing, but I love that they're building up a kiriakis Demira confrontation now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think, oh, yeah. I, I think that's, that's a good one to start putting back into, into play. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. Especially now that Justin Kiriakis, Kiriakis. is now a DA. That's going to be very interesting. Yeah. 
Yeah. Just so I, I, I kind of get the kick out of that one, and I really think that'll be a lot of fun to see play out because I'm sure we'll get Stefano in here, and it'll be a little bit more exciting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll be sitting, but it'll still be exciting. <laughs> 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 well, Carolyn, thank you so much thank for calling you, in. And as always, we we know who you are. We see your tweets and and your comments. Thank you thank for you. always being so supportive. We appreciate. Make that. sure you tweet out Carolyn's quote of the week. Yes, and we'll retweet it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I love watching you guys every week. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thanks for calling in. Okay. okay. Bye. And now we we have a, another caller. Welcome. We don't waste time here. No, no we don't. We just we just Zach back. Max's Zach is back go. there. He's getting them in. Zach, we, uh, love you. we have uh, time for like a couple more calls. Uh, so welcome to Edition Days uh, here on AfterBuzz TV. You are on live. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Cheryl from Cheryl! South Carolina. Hey, Cheryl from South Carolina. So what did you think? How of, are you? Uh, we're great. What did you think of this week? What was your favorite moment? <laughs> Um, well, my favorite moment really was uh, centered sort of around Mark's quote of the week, <laughs> except I think he missed. He was just a little bit late. <clears throat> the best part was when she said, if you give me the money and you help me out, I'll name the company after Yes, that was great. And Brady <laughs> that said, was great. That it's was already great. called Basic Big Black. Black. <laughs> and she said, see, it was meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. There are, there, are, there are quite a few usually, but I, see? I like to pick... You know, I like to be the a little ones. different. You know, and I Thank get a you. lot of I get a lot of recommendations during the week, which I actually I'm gonna l tell you a little secret. I don't really read them during the week because I'm usually behind, so I don't want mm -hmm. it to ruin things for me when I see there's quote. I don't want to see the quotes before I I actually see them. So I try to I try to kind of do my own thing. And, you know, that's the independent soul that I am. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I also really liked the whole. Um, tender moment, I guess it is, between Maggie and Teresa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like it, it was it was for the viewers to see that Teresa there's a reason that Teresa does the things that she does. Mm -hmm. There's some redemption. Um, yeah. And and she had that realization too when Maggie said, Why is it that you think you do these things? And she said, Maybe I'm just trying to get somebody to pay me some attention. Yeah. 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 Oh, and, and that's a hundred percent why Teresa does scheme oh, and, and do everything. Yeah. You know yeah. that she does. It, she just wants somebody to give her the attention she never got from Shane and Kim. Yeah, yeah. And, and my other possibility for well, I guess moment of the week was when <laughs> Teresa was talking about her mom and dad, and she's like, "Well, you know, my dad was away a lot, and my mom, and she did like the the cra <laughs> She's a little crazy. Yeah. That was almost going to be my other. Because <laughs> those yeah. made me laugh. That made yeah. me laugh. But yeah, no. But the, the writers are the writers are doing such a great job. Yeah. I, I know that I've heard people complain that they think the transition is too slow. Uh, and I don't think so. To that, I say it's been two weeks. Exactly. Oh it's been exactly. Three years to screw the show up to the point that it is. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, give I them agree. a little bit of time. And I think it will. You know? I think and, it's gonna. Yeah, it's slowly bringing bringing it back to to where they used to be. They're, yeah, the where they used to be, and cleaning up a few things and rearranging some things so that way they can, you know, boom, really hit the ground running. The last thing that I want to say is. I don't want to see Bo and Hope back together if Bo's not going to stick around. Right. Because right. The, the fans from the 80s are clamoring for their Bo back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to me, if you're not going to make it a forever thing, don't bring him in just to screw everything up right. and have yeah. him move along. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now, do we know how long his contract... We don't know his contract length or anything mm -hmm. like that? Okay. We don't. Mm -hmm. uh, we I haven't seen anything that says how long yeah. his contract is for. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing that I did notice as far as contracts go, which makes leads me to believe that the serial killer may be Eric, <gasps> is because mm. Greg Vaughn extended his contract. He did not sign a new contract. He extended. Uh, and they said it would be somebody we least suspect. Oh. Um, mm. That would be so interesting. Under yeah. that. Wow. Cheryl, way to shake things up here Look at that. <laughs> Yahtzee. <laughs> and you're complaining about my quote of the week? How'd you do this to me? <laughs> Oh wow. well, you guys are great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Cheryl. Cheryl. We appreciate it. Bye bye. Uh, we bye -bye. have time for. Yep. 
One yeah. more, there are two more calls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, welcome to Dish and Days. You're on live. What's your name and where are you calling from? I am calling you from Valdosta, Georgia. Okay. And what's your name? Susie Morales Smidley. Hey, hey Susie. Oh, How you doing? Boy. Doing good, you guys. Good. Good, good. good. So, um, how are you liking the writing so far? What was your favorite moment this week? Talk to us. Chat with us. Well, my thing is, I guess I'm a little bit um, perturbed by the fact that so far we have not seen much closure. I am really looking forward to, before Clyde exits, some of the crimes that he's committed. I really want for the writers to give us viewers some kind of, um, I don't know, redemption for the fact that he's done some horrible things. Yeah. I hope that he does not leave um, or get killed off without somebody. Uh, pointing out all of the crimes that he's committed, yeah. um, the involvement that he had with EJ. And I know that um, Dina Higley had mentioned that Jordan was not coming back. Mm -hmm. So I know that that's not going to be, you know, playing a part. Mm -hmm. But this man has done some really horrible things. And I would like for us to get some kind of redemption for like EJ's death, even though he had no actual part in killing him. You know, he, he did cover up the crimes that Miguel did. Yeah, or so, the, the fact that he, he, I call it shanked, he shanked uh, Sonny and sprinkled him with cocaine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. I mean, and so for me, the, the writing has been kind of a slow process. I do agree with Cheryl, the situation with um, the Hope and Bo thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've got a lot of group members in our group that are like really Bope fans, and not that I'm against Bope, but because of the fact that we don't know if he's going to come to stay, right. it's a waste of our time to see them get all up there and mm -hmm. then for them to have him leave again. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's about time that she moves on, whether it's with rape or with somebody else, yeah. then let that happen. As far yeah. as the Aiden thing, I'm kind of upset because I think that the original writing for, for Daniel Cosgrove was for him to come in and maybe the storyline <laughs> about the... Um, the wife mm -hmm. was something, mm -hmm. but then all of a sudden they're making him be out to be this horrible person, yeah. and I'm not very happy about that. Even though yeah. I was not a, a Hayden fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I I agree with you, Susie. I like I said, I think they had the perfect opportunity during the the whole wife thing to make him cuckoo for cocoa puffs. <laughs> exactly. And if they yeah, weren't going to do it then, don't do it now cuz now we're looking at him like really like okay, so you really are crazy. Like now, you know, we thought that you were this, you know, cool, misunderstood, nice guy, but you could actually just be a horrible person. So, I and guess I actually think that he does love eight, uh hope, but I think that because of the fact that he must owe money to somebody because he keeps on talking to two different people, one that he owes money to, and then I think it's the person that has the captors of Bo. I do not think, contrary to the belief of many of the viewers, that he's behind it. I think that he might know that Bo is being held captive, and then he was sent out. He was enlisted to go out and do something with Hope, or Hope would be distracted, not be worried about his whereabouts. And one last thing before I let you guys go mm -hmm. um, is I'm very frustrated with the Victor situation because I love Victor. Mm -hmm. And from a few months back, um, Brady had mentioned to him on the Kristen thing that he knows that he keeps tabs on his enemies mm -hmm. and on his family members. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, why isn't Victor not knowing where his son is at? Even though he did make a mention that the ISA kind of shrugged him you right. know, off and right. he can get away with finding information. I'm thinking somewhere along the line they need to rectify that. So then we're sitting at home thinking, wait a minute, does Victor really know where Bo is at or does he not? Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. and I'm a Victor fan, like, massively. You know, I'm yeah. into, like, the bad, the bad boys of Salem. But that's Billy Flynn, too. I love my Billy Flynn. <laughs> yes. You're not the only one that loves a Billy Flynn. <laughs> I know, I think you played us all. I think, you know, you wanted us to make sure we tuned in, and you told us a lie there about Billy Flynn coming oh, in. Oh, no, It no. wasn't just for Mark, huh? That, no. no, that was a, that was a total mistake. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I'm but getting messages about it, too. It's okay. But Billy Flynn... It's all right. I, I would have been tuning in anyway. Good. I, I think Billy Flynn wants to come back oh, at, sure at some point will. in time. Sure so tweet him and tell him, yeah, oh, tell him. we would have loved to have you on today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well... 
you guys do a great job, and we thank you so very much for taking our calls. We thank really you. That. Thank Anytime. you, Susie. Thank you for calling in and being a wonderful, loyal supporter. We appreciate that. You guys take care of yourself and be safe tomorrow. Thank you. you. Too. Thank you. All right, guys. So uh, before we wrap things up, let's go ahead and get into some news and gossip. <clears throat> All right, so, uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> First of all, thank you guys so much for calling in. We really appreciate uh, to hear from you guys. And, of course, uh, we always love to hear from you. If you want to voice your opinions about anything that you saw here today on the show or want to tell us uh, what you thought of this week's episode, make sure you like us, follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Dish and Days. Um, or you always feel free to tweet us um, using the hashtag Dish and Days. Um, so, a little bit of news and gossip. First of all, we're going to start with... Mark's future. Uh, the man, the myth, the legend, <laughs> Belle Flynn. Uh, I think we do have a video. Let's watch the video first, if you don't mind. The one that you had up there earlier, if we can put that up and we'll let that play and then I'll do the, the spiel. Or I'll do the spiel first. <laughs> the video. Whichever you think works out better, Zach. Um, oh, oh. Here it comes. Oh, here it, here it is. Mm-mm. <clears throat> There it is. Hello. My name is Billy Flint. I play Chad DeMera on Days of Our Lives. I'm going to be having a fan event in Niagara Falls from October 3rd to October 4th. Go to flintatthefalls.ca, buy your tickets so we can be best friends forever. <laughs> See you there. So I'll be there. Because I want to be his best friend. friend. <laughs> you're, all, you're hosting the event. Well, I'll be hosting the meet and greet and the Q&A on the 4th. Um, I'm going to get there on the 2nd to uh, roll out a red carpet and throw down rose petals. <laughs> 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 um, so, yeah. So, the, it's uh, flintatthefalls.ca because it's in Canada. Um, and there's a... Let me see here. Let me read here. The VI... Uh, there's a... Sorry, the couple different uh, packs, uh, different uh, events, uh, uh, packages you can buy. Uh, one is uh, has an exclusive one-on-one time with Billy, a tour of the falls with Billy, personalized Chaz, Chad Demira script with a personal message um, from Billy. He's going to sign it on there for you. Um, giveaways and um, the meet and greet hosted by the future Mrs. Flynn. <laughs> um, and it's 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 really actually a really good value. I was Googling the prices and everything because, you know, I want a good deal. Yeah. Um, and it's actually a really great deal. So um, it's, I, I mean, I think, I mean, I'm partial because I'll be there. Uh, but I do think it's exciting because yeah. it's not like a group of everybody and, you know, you get five minutes here, five minutes there. You really get to spend two days with Billy. Yeah. And as you saw on our show, he was He's a fun guy. How like are you going to handle 48 hours of Billy Flynn? Well, the good thing is Gina will be there, so I have to be on my best behavior. <laughs> if, if I were She's her... She's going to be there cracking the whip, like, don't look at my husband. If I were her, I would, I would hire security. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't heard anything that I'm not allowed, you know, within a certain distance of him, but it's, Hopeful, it should be fun. Hopefully, be like, you know, she doesn't get accidentally left in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> so no, it'll be fun. So get your tickets, please. It'll be fun. Yay. And you get to hang out with me too. Yeah. And I'll try not to drink too much. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, boy. Um, Also, uh, as we mentioned earlier, the one and only Miss Christian Alfonso celebrated her birthday over the weekend. So we here at Dish and Days wanted to send a very happy birthday to the one and only Miss Christian Alfonso, Miss Hope Williams, Brady, Aiden. (laughs) Jennings. 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 Maybe Hernandez. Maybe Hernandez. Maybe Maybe Brady again. Who knows? Yeah. She Um, could be the new Susan Lucci. Yeah. With all the husbands. She could be. Yeah. Um, and other... Oh, wait. Oh, I think... Yeah, there, there she, she is. is uh, the gorgeous. The very gorgeous... I miss. have that same necklace. And you know what? She doesn't age. <laughs> Not a bit. At all. So, She actually gorgeous. looks better. Every yeah. year. Yeah. Yep. So happy birthday to Miss Christian Alfonso. Also, in Days of Our Lives news, as far as casting is concerned, uh, we now know that Vincent Irizarry, I believe Irizarry. I pronounced it, pronounced his uh, name right, he has now joined uh, Days of Our Lives. You guys may remember him from All My Children. Uh, I believe he was ex David, as I remember. Uh, but he will be joining Days. I'm not exactly sure of his air date, but we know that he has joined uh, Days of Our Lives. So, mm-hmm. Interested to see uh, what's going to happen with that. Also, Sal Stowers um, 
tweeted uh, that she will make her debut as a new character, Lanny, uh, on September 25th. Hmm. Uh, so I wonder who she's going to come on and portray. I believe she was the winner of America's Next Top Model a few cycles ago. Oh, what was her name? I believe it was Salish back then, but she now hmm. goes by Sal. Oh. Uh, but she's been tweeting out uh, pictures of her on set and things, and she's set to debut on September 25th. I'll have to follow her on Twitter. I don't think I do. Yes, so make sure you look out for that. Also, we finally have the winner of the Starstruck fan event uh, that is happening this coming weekend. If you are in the St. Louis Louis area. Please, 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 please make sure you attend this event. It's a family affair, and it features uh, the Norita Black family. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, uh, Eric Martsoff, uh, Drake Hoganson. Thank you. Uh, Hera Ambrosino. Yep. And Christopher, Christopher Sean, Sean. Um, all attending this event. Uh, in I still think St. Martha Louis. should go. Well, I mean, sure. She's a she's a black. She is. She's. <laughs> She is. <laughs> she is. Why is that funny? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but is um, she not a black? Am I am I saying something wrong? You got me freaked sure, out now. I'm like, sure you guys, uh, uh, if you yeah. if you want to attend this event happening this weekend, I believe we do have a flyer or a photo of it. Um, whenever you want to put that up, Zach. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, if you want to attend, make sure you go to StarstruckFanEvents.com. Again, that StarstruckFanEvents.com is happening this weekend in St. Louis. So if you are near the right. area, make sure you go and check it out. All of the information is listed on their website, and you get a chance to hang out with the Norita Black family. But the one person who wins two tickets to the September 11th event, that's the September 11th event only in St. Louis, is drum roll should i melissa h boone congratulations Woo-hoo! you are the winner of two tickets to the september 11th starstruck fan event a family affair happening this weekend uh we will send you a message so that we can get you details on how to claim those tickets and of course you have to tell us all about it uh next week because we want to know and if you guys plan on attending the starstruck fan event uh this weekend uh let us know tweet us uh put a message on our facebook page let us know um how the event was they're also having uh an event in october in nashville so uh, make sure you check out StarstruckFanEvents.com. And again, special thanks to Paul and Keith uh, for always allowing us to give tickets away here at Dish and Days. Make sure you guys support them, support them, support them. Yes. They are uh, doing wonderful fan events uh, as well as other groups are doing wonderful fan events as well. Yeah. So make sure you support them. All right. So and now on to some predictions. Oh, I had one, too. What was my... And now... I don't think I read back your notes. I don't think I read them. Well, judging from the preview that I saw, there is going to be another murder. Uh, the 8th, Tuesday. Yeah, well, Tuesday is going to be a big day because I guess the murder is going to happen, but also Bo returns. Oh, so he'll turn over. That's basically what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> that's basically what's going to happen. Basically, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> Bo's going to finally turn over. Um, but, but actually, in the preview, we see him actually hanging. And oh. being like okay, so tortured. he gets picked up and hung. Up. And hung up. <laughs> <laughs> so and um, w- w- the um, chat room earlier was saying that Paige may be the next to go. That I think that's what everybody's judging by the shoe um, that they keep showing. Everyone, oh, they're showing a shoe. Yeah, everyone's uh-huh, guessing that it's the... Paige, and that apparently JJ finds. Her, the whoever's murdered next week, yeah. Uh, well, then it's if, if JJ's the one finding it, then it's got to be, yeah. Um, I did see on here when we were talking earlier, um, that somebody because we were talking about who the killer would be, mm-hmm. somebody said that they from based on that day's 50 montage that they showed, um, that they said it definitely looks like it's a man, a big man, because he's strangling Marlena or something, okay. Oh, I yeah, yeah. Um, I need to watch that again because I really only saw Billy. <laughs> 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 so um, yeah, I, it'll be interesting. Yeah, everyone, everyone thinks it'll be Paige. Everyone's saying, "Rest in peace, Paige. Rest yes. in peace, Paige." Yes. Um, I can't say that I'll miss her. Well, but at, we'd love to have her as a guest. Well, at, <laughs> yes. Well, at least she won't be angry. <laughs> That's true. That's there true. Anger's gone now. Yeah. Um, yeah. You got to be careful when you're angry. Ends up biting you in the butt later. Exactly. So, and that is it. That has been that has your been, full man. week of Days of Our Lives. Thank you guys for tuning in, as always, on this lovely Sunday Labor Day weekend. Mark, before we head out, let the kind folks know where they can find you and your hair. 
<laughs> you can find my hair at Living for the Hair on Twitter. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Lorraine Love, L-O-R-A-Y-N-E-L-O-V-E. And you can also find me on Facebook.com uh, backslash the Mark J. Freeman. And I do believe I'm only five likes away from 500 followers on my Facebook page. So if you don't follow me yet and like my page, Tony, then I'll be only the four more people to like me. I think I already like it. Do you? Do Maybe you not. really, though? I don't know. Do we'll you see. really like it, we'll or was it just you went through the motion of liking it? I think I went through the motion. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, you guys can find me on all social media platforms. That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Periscope, at Lounging with Tony, or my website, loungingwithtony.com. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and thank you guys to all 75 people who are watching us live. Woo-hoo! Don't forget to like and share our Facebook page and Instagram, and share this link, letting all the Days fans know that we here are always Dish and Days every Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And this has been Dish, Dish and Days. Days. We'll see you next Sunday. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 